That's right, Aaron. The woman says that neither she nor the, her husband know who might be sending those messages, but the threats have been along the lines of, I know where you work and you deserve what you get. Now, police say they're not sure if the same person who sent those messages is responsible for the fires, but that is one of the leads they're investigating. I lost my three pets. Have they been with you for a while? <laughs> yes. This Raymond homeowner asked that we not identify her or her house, where a suspicious fire claimed the lives of her three dogs. The fire was spotted at her home on Green Road around 11.30 Monday morning. It appears that the fire sat on the interior of the residence. Lieutenant Michael LaBelle says they're not sure exactly how the fire started, but he says the dogs never had a chance to escape. Uh, there were three dogs, and each one of them are kenneled during the day when the homeowners go to work, um, and they were kenneled at the time. For several months, the homeowner says she and her husband have been receiving anonymous threatening texts. While they complained to police, she says the threats weren't specific enough so that authorities could take action or find out who was sending them. The homeowner says they never thought that this could happen. Oh, but there were threats um, about fire um, previously. Um, not really expecting it to be um, followed through with. Police say they're looking into the possibility that the threats may have been connected to the fire, but the home was just one of two suspicious fires on Green Road. This pickup was set on fire just after midnight on Monday. Asked if the two fires are connected. The investigators are looking into that right now. They're still following up on several leads. The homeowner says once this investigation is complete, she plans on going to the legislature to see if something can be done about an anonymous texting, which she says exists only to hurt people. Reporting live in Raymond, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.